it's the end of the week and I want to clean out my fridge. So I've got some rice here. I think you see where this is going. There is nothing better to use up all these ingredients than a good fried rice. Life can be a struggle, but a good meal doesn't have to be. We can make creative, nutritious, and inventive dishes that won't break the bank. We'll eat well and save money, because that's what we do. Welcome to Struggle Meals. We have so many things, don't we? Leftover vegetables, delicious, half an onion. I always have half an onion. And then I've got rice here, and this is pre-cooked rice, and the cool thing is that it's like partially dried out now that it's been sitting around for a while, which means it's gonna crisp up in the pan. But this could be any grain, farro, quinoa, you do you. It's all about using the leftover and making it even better. Little onion. Onion's perfect for a dish like this because it's gonna take on a lot of the aromatic flavors that we put in there and it's also gonna melt into the dish. Let's, uh, let's slice some garlic here. Ginger, it brings so much freshness. You can kind of just peel the skin in a beautiful manner. Let's go in with a neutral oil, and we want a fair bit of it. Coming in with onion, coming in with garlic. We'll get some ginger going. A Little bit of salt, not too much. We're putting soy sauce at the end, so you've got to sort of like keep that in your mind. A Little bit of pepper. So we're gonna come in with our rice. Here we go. Woo, you can smell the garlic and the ginger already. Do you hear all that popping? That's the dried rice, like literally frying in the oil. It's amazing sounding. High heat. We're gonna let that get like a little bit of a crust on the bottom and really dry out. Well, we got peas and carrots. We don't have to do anything to these. They're the perfect size. And we've got our little cauliflowers. Just cut the big ones the long way. Let's crack some eggs. The eggs have a beautiful opportunity to be like a moisturizing element here. And so by throwing them in at the last second and letting the residual heat of the rice in the pan cook them, that's how we're gonna keep moisture in the dish. Let's start adding in our vegetables. Everything is cooked here. We don't need to wait for it to cook through. We simply need to warm it. That's all you gotta worry about. Some soy sauce at the end, some sesame oil. To the packet drawer, two packets of honey for sweetness, some red pepper flakes. And again, we wanna put this at the very, very end. We want all that brightness to remain. If it's cooked, it's not gonna be bright. Fresh scallions, more brightness. I'll just run our knife right through. Why well, stop here? Happen to have some cilantro right here. I'm just gonna run my knife through it once. Rice is looking great. I'm gonna lower the heat now. Egg coming in now, moving that egg around. It should cook pretty quickly. I can already see some coagulating there. I'm gonna kill the heat. Before you add the sauce, it's really important that you turn off the heat because soy sauce doesn't like to be cooked. And let's come in with our sauce now. Let's mix that in real nice. Let's get our scallion on there. Cilantro for freshness. Leftovers, once again, they've come to the rescue. Thanks to the magical power of leftovers, this is only 50 cents a serving. That's really cheap. Here we go. Look at all that temperature. So painful, but so good. There's two levels of freshness happening. There's one with the ginger and the garlic down here that's been like cooked, very bright and lovely. And then there's another one up here with the scallion and the cilantro. Really nice. Then I've got the crunchiness of the scallion and the crunchiness of the crunchy rice. So there's two different kinds of crunchy textures happening. This is the perfect dish to make to clean out your fridge at the end of the week.